this lecture, Canada's booming economy, will focus on the factors that contributed to Canada's economic resurgence during the 1920s. The Booming Canadian Economy After several difficult years following World War I, the Canadian economy entered a time of unprecedented prosperity that would become known as the Roaring Twenties. Why? There were several key contributing factors to this economic boom. Wheat on the prairies, pulp and paper, hydroelectric power, oil and gas, mining, and foreign investment. Wheat on the prairies. From 1925 to 1929, the prairie provinces enjoyed huge wheat crops. Recovering Europe could now afford to buy Canadian wheat, so there was high demand for the product. With the extra profits, farmers bought more mechanized farm equipment and created wheat pools and cooperatives. Pulp and paper. Giant American newspaper companies needed pulp in order to create paper. As a result, across the country, the Canadian forest industry thrived. On the downside, many forests were clear-cut. Hydroelectric power. The need for electricity grew during the 1920s. New home appliances like the electric icebox and a growing manufacturing sector increased this need. White coal, as it became known, had become a major industry in both Quebec and Ontario. Niagara Falls generated a lot of hydroelectric power. Overall, Canada became the second largest producer of hydroelectric power in the world. Oil and gas. Automobiles created a great demand for oil and gas. The search for black gold was on. In 1924, Turner Valley, Alberta struck it rich. The Alberta oil industry had begun. Mining. Rich deposits of copper, nickel, lead, and zinc were found across the Canadian Shield during the 1920s. There is greater demand for metals in the manufacturing industry as a result of automobiles. In addition, new technological advancements in mining machinery allowed companies to better access the resources. Some of the most notable mines were in Sudbury, Flin Flon, Kimberley, and Noranda. Foreign Investment Prior to World War I, the biggest investors in Canadian industry were the British. However, during the war, British investment decreased and was replaced by American investment. Americans invest in all the new thriving industries we have discussed in this lecture. The branch plant system. When the British had invested in Canadian industries, they left control to Canadians. New American investment was different. American companies would open up branch industries in Canada run by Americans. These were copies of American parent companies. This way, the Americans could produce and sell products in Canada without having to pay tariffs. This system is still in place today. For example, Walmart is an American company that has set up branches of its company throughout Canada. Can you think of other similar companies? The economy is finally roaring. Canada's economy was now booming as a result of new industries and increased American investment. The mid-1920s would become an era of unprecedented economic growth in Canada and in many other parts of the world, especially the United States. As a result, the Canadian way of life drastically changed. Here are a few questions for you to consider. Make up a list of positives and negatives associated with American investment. Should Canada continue to allow American investment in Canada? How has American economic influence affected Canadian culture and identity?